Helen Chibuzomba, but I'm known as Helen Beruk. I am an artist, a songwriter, a composer, an arranger. I am an entrepreneur and a music educator. Okay, Helen Beruk, um, Beruk is, is my late father's name and it means blessed nation. So, I love the name because of the meaning and Helen means light. So, blessed nation, you know, shining the light. <laughs> so, I, I love the name. I love the way it sounds, Helen Beruk. And because it's my father's name, I decided to add it to my name to be my stage name and i love it people love it too because i usually get some attention from people trying to know me more trying to know where i'm from you know by the name helen beruk so where are you from where are you from why are you answering beruk so i love that <laughs> i was born in a music family and my daddy loved music it exposed me to great musicians like Mikey Jackson, Gianni, Paul Weber, um, Archer, and so many of them. So he would buy the their album, complete one, and the videos and all that. So, and then my brother started doing music, and and I got inspired seeing him doing music playing the musical instrument, you know, as of the time I was, um, I was, I was seven, yes, I was seven, eight years then. So my brother usually go for performances. He played in charge. So I love that the way he expressed himself through music. At some point I, I composed a song, say I will follow my brother, go anywhere. <laughs> Anyway, I go, I go follow my mother, I go. <laughs> because he inspired me so much. You know, I could see the passion. So this one is no longer that I'm seeing people on television. I was seeing somebody doing music live in my family. And uh, I got inspired. I got inspired. Honest, I would say he's my number one inspiration. Apart from what I've seen on the television. Clinton Barrow. That's my brother. <laughs> He's my number one inspiration in music. Wow, this is a beautiful question and that takes me back to my memory. <laughs> I started my music journey at age seven. That was when I started playing recorder. We call it Pepe <laughs> God. And I would always come on time so that I would be the one to, I would be able to take the Ogene, the Opokoro Udu. Hey! That's been a beautiful experience for me since that time. And having to see my brother doing the music, I got so inspired. So, down the line, I started playing the saxophone. I started playing the saxophone and then I started going for events then. And, and then on 2020, I released my first original song, Okaka. Yes, of course. Yeah, of course. I, I, I intend collaborating with, with gospel artists, and which I've already started doing. I have a, a current song I've not released. I'm going to release it soon as possible. I did it with an incredible woman of God. Our one and only Onos are you. <laughs> Doing the recording of the song, it was amazing. It was so powerful. And I can't wait for you people to hear the song. I can't wait to release this song to the world. I want to share a little secret with you, but I promise you will not tell anybody, but you have to tell somebody. <laughs> the title is, the title is, the title is, 
The title is Nekene with my one and only mama, Unos Ario. <laughs> Guys, I can't wait to release this song. I can't wait for you to hear this powerful worship song. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Fat, eh? I want to release it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even ask me that? Anyway, it's not something I want to talk about. Yeah, maybe next time um, I will tell you. Hey, the challenge is too much. It's too much. But God is helping us anyway because he was, He's the one that called us in this. Because I found papers in this I'm doing. You know, having to raise money to record a song, one song. Hi, Jesus. Having to raise money to from production and the shooting of the um, of the video requires a lot of money. So, one major problem, one major issue, is funds. Wow, wow, this question is interesting, but I've not been bullied by my producers. My producers are wonderful. They allow me to express myself through my music. I get involved in the production. I tell them what I want. And the, um, most especially um, the person that is producing my songs, Yemi. Shout out to Yemi. I celebrate you, guy. So he's just a wonderful person. Even when I started doing covers, to allow me to express they, they are patient. I used to hear that producers are not patient, but this guy is patient. Like he would allow me to express myself, tell him what I have in mind and how it sounds, and that will make me to hone my sound. Okay, so I'm really grateful working with Yemi, and uh, I'm blessed. My biggest fear in life is fear of not taking risk not doing what i what i ought to do whether it works or not as long as i'm supposed to do that thing i have to do it so my fear if i don't do that thing what will not happen so that is my fear so if i'm being called to record to do a song i do it immediately i record it if god said i should go and speak to someone to do a song with someone to collaborate with someone I will do it as long as it's what I'm supposed to do. I will do it whether it works or not. I have to do it. So that is my fear and God is helping us. He's helping me. In Ron, I, I intend to tour the whole world and spread um, the good news through my music. I intend to hold a studio, a live recording studio audio recording studio and visual recording studio and um, I would love to have um, like 20 albums <laughs> 20 albums both um, instrumental um, instrumental music and then lyrics music because I write instrumental music I compose and arrange instrumental music and then um, lyrics music so I, I would love to be able to record and collaborate with other musicians, other great musicians and gospel artists in Nigeria and the whole world. That is where I'm targeting to see myself in the next five years. Hi, my wonderful people, my fans, my family, and my friends. Thank you for always supporting Helen Berg. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. And keep engaging, keep supporting, keep spreading, and keep sharing my content. Thank you so much. May God bless you. I love you guys. Thank you for for recording these and um, putting me through 
and also thank you for your patience you know you have very resilient i thought we could do that tomorrow but you, you see that we'll do it today and this is actually perfect and the one we did he said no it's not good that we have to do it again i was like oh jesus how can you just manage that one i was in my heart i said okay i'm not the director i'm not saying what he's seen we have to do it that is what i'm all to do i have to do it there's a risk we took it in risk you know sleeping so everything in this life is risk so thank you so much peace out peace out peace out